So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Spatial. Today I will show you how to create a normalized difference buildup index in RGS using Landsat 8 image. So let's get started. So go to the add section, add data. So this is our Landsat 8 image. That is, we have different bands. So let me show you my procedure. So the normalized difference buildup index. So a normalized difference buildup index uses a NIR that is near infrared region and short wave infrared region bands to emphasize the manufactured buildup areas. So it is a ratio based on to mitigate the effect of terrain illumination difference as well as an atmospheric effect. So using this formula, we're going to uh, identify the buildups using this normalized difference buildup index. So the normal difference uh, buildup index value lies between minus one to plus one. So the negative value represents the water bodies, whereas the higher value represents the, the buildup areas. So the formula is the formula for the normalized difference buildup index, that is uh, short wave infrared minus near infrared divided by short wave infrared plus near infrared. So this is our uh, formula. So in Landsat 8 image, uh, we have the normalized difference buildup index is calculated using uh, band 6 minus band 5 divided by band 6 plus band 5. Similarly, in Landsat 8, the la uh, normalized difference buildup index, the formula is band 6 minus band 5 and divided by band 6 plus band 5. And similarly, for in case of uh, Landsat 7, uh, we have band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So let me show you the Landsat 8 bands. So this is Landsat 8 bands. We are going to use band 5 that is a near infrared region and the values wavelength is from 0 0.851 to 0 0.879 that is 30 meter resolution and band 6 the short wave infrared region 1 that is a uh, wavelength is from 1.5 to 1.65 a 30 meter resolution so for landsat 9 and landsat 8 and landsat 7 the formulas are mentioned here so let get uh, let's get back to rgs so let me add my uh, required band that is select band 5 and band 4 that is sorry uh, let me uh, tell you once again select band 5 and band 6 band 5 and band 6 so let me add it so this is our uh, landsat 8 image now let me extend this so this is uh this is band 5 and uh, this is band 6 so let's get started go to uh, Search section. So enter as raster calculator. So now click search. Now choose the raster calculator spatial analyst. So this is the raster calculator. Now let me extend this. Okay. So let us enter the formula for uh, calculating the normalized difference buildup index. Go to the section called float. Click float. Float. And uh, let me show you the formula for Landsat 8. So for Landsat 8, the formula is band 6 minus band 5 divided by band 6 plus band 5 so band 6 minus band 5 so band 6 minus let me choose the minus symbol div minus band 5 so divided by again choose the float uh, let me uh, choose band 6 plus band 5 so
So this is a formula to calculate uh, the normalized difference build up index. So let me choose the output location. So let me save the file as ndbi represents normalized difference build up index. So save. So let me click OK. So we have our the normalized difference buildup index raster. So let me turn off other layers. So this is our uh, Landsat uh, 8 image. This raster is of uh, normalized difference buildup index. So let me right click this, go to the property section, go to the symbology, and uh, let me classify. So yes, we require histogram. So let me choose the color. So now uh, we have different values starting from minus 4.4, uh, minus 0 0.462. We have a plus 0 0.6. So let me apply it. Now click OK. So this is our raster. I have already mentioned that the negative sign indicates a water body and a higher or the positive value that indicates the buildup areas. Let me show you that. Uh, so uh, the normalized difference buildup index value lies between minus 1 to plus 1. So the negative value of ND BI represents the water body whereas a higher value that is of a higher value represents a buildup areas. So the higher value indicates a buildup areas. So let me get back to RGS. So let me zoom this. Go to the section of zoom option and let me zoom this. So you can able to see now uh, the blue indicates the buildup areas. The blue indicates of a buildup areas. And uh, even it has captured the road by roads, road network, road uh, networks. So let me uh, view other areas. So this is also a buildup areas. So in this way, we can able to find out the buildup areas using uh, NDBI. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel Terra Spatial.